Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. For more conceptual video on engineering concepts, you can log in to our website www.claryconcepts.com. We are here to explain you all the engineering concepts in an easiest way possible. Okay. So today we are going to talk about one of the very confused topic which most of the student has confusion actually that is fluid flow patterns which is streamline, streamline and path line. And most of the student feel that all these three lines are same but it is not the fact. So let us see in today's lecture that what do you mean by fluid flow patterns and what are these path lines, streamline and straight line and what do they signify in reality. Okay. And when they are same, I mean when they are coinciding each other and when they are different. Let us look. So firstly, we will start discussion on path line. So say for example, I have the fluid flow and in this fluid flow, I have defined a Cartesian coordinate system x, y and z and from this system, I have identified a point A. A location A is identified by a vector called position vector called x A and at a given instant of time t, there is a fluid particle sitting there at a point, at a point A. So I, I have referred this particle such that at a, at a time t, the particle has position x a. Okay, this is the identified particle. Now, path line is nothing but the trajectory followed by this particle which is identified in a given time. So, for example, if I talk about the statement, path line is the path or trajectory traced out by an identified fluid particle. So, let us say along the flow, this particle with respect to time travels to a, a, another position, right. Now, it has travelled to this position, it has found over here at time t plus dt. But the path that a particle has followed is this red color path. That means this red color path is known as path line of a given identified particle which was found at a, at a coordinate x a in a given time t. But the path line is traced over a period of time. So, therefore, it is said to be a scene of varying time. Okay. Now, I give you the example, let us say for example, there are four different particles which are identified in the fluid domain and all of them are traveling from T0, T1, T2 up to T4 for example and particle, the path traced by blue color is this blue line. So, this blue color line is called path line of this blue color particle which was found at T0 at this particular location, right. Similarly, green, red and yellow. So, path line basically refers to the path or trajectory followed by an individual particle in a space, clear? Okay. Now, let us talk about uh, uh, an example that reflects the path line. So, we start with a very common example that we regularly deal with, uh, wash basin and you have the tap. So, water is flowing through this tap. So, if I zoom into this part of the cowed band pipe, you can see the, the water molecules flowing through this pipe, right? Now, if I ask you that I have, I will identify one particle. Let us say, I have identified a particle called A which is at point P over here, right? Now, this particle is traveling along this line in a given time frame. So, this red color line is called the path line of a particle A which was found at this particular point P, clear? So, now let us talk about this streamline. What is streamline? See, let us say that I have the same fluid flow and I have the Cartesian coordinate system x, y and z. Now, in a given fluid flow, I have a location A, a space coordinate A, where I found one fluid particle and the velocity vector of that fluid particle is somewhere over here in this direction. Now, if I go a distance dx in the same direction, I will find another particle called B. I will find another fluid particle called B. And now, when I check the velocity of the fluid particle B, I found it somewhere over here. Now, again, I will go distance dx from a point B in direction where velocity is determined, I will get a point C and then I will have the velocity vector of point C and so on if I go on doing this, what will happen is you see, now, now you see, all these vectors that you see along this line, if I draw a line which is tangent to all this vector, this line will become a streamline. Streamline of what? Streamline passing through point A. but here, the streamline is referred as a line that is tangent to the local velocity vector. Clear? But this is not a scene of varying time. This is a scene of instantaneous time. Why? Because you have clicked the photograph. The particles that you are looking over here are, are different particles. They are a different location at a given instant of time. Right? So, what is streamline? Streamline is defined as an imaginary line in the fluid domain that is everywhere tangent to the local velocity vector. It means that whenever you want to draw a velocity, now once streamline is available with you, if I ask you what is the velocity of fluid particle over here, you will straight away say it is like this. 
because velocity will always be tangential to the streamline right so if i say that it is fluid domain and if i ask you that at this particular point what is the velocity of particle you will set up a same this is this right so as i said streamline is the scene of fixed time because it is a fixed instant of time now if i ask you to find out the streamline of the same example now let me again zoom into this picture and let's say i take the photograph at any instant of time and photograph i show that there are fluid particles flowing from here and if i draw the line tangent to this vector i will get one line to be like this one line to be like this and there are many such lines of the same orientation now all of these are streamlines you can see right so one of these line is central line as well clear okay let us now talk about the streak line now streak line is something which is different from streamline and uh, path line i want you to pay concentration on this let us say that i have identified a point p in a fluid domain now from point p a particle was released let's say for example and currently a fluid particle is found at this particular position at this particular position okay so let's say particle a pass through point p earlier at an earlier time of instant of t minus dta currently this particle is located over here but this fluid particle has passed through point p at an earlier instant of time called t minus dta also this particle xb which is currently located over here but this is also passed through this point also c particle was is currently over here but this is also passed through point p earlier and now d also is currently situated over here but this also pass through this particular point now what is streak line streak line is a line joining all this fluid particle a locus of particle that has passed through a common point in the fluid domain so streak line refers to a line corresponding to this particular space point in the in the domain from where the particle has uh, has passed through right so streak line is a line joining fluid particle that has once passed through the same fixed point in the space clear so let me uh, uh, explain you with the example of the same band pipe so let us say there are four different fluid particles so if i show you the animation all of the this four particle is passing through this point o but at different instant of time so let us say blue color particle came first then red then black and then this red uh, maroon right for example now at some instant i have take the photograph take taking the photograph now in this photograph i have seen that all these four particles are at this orientation now if i draw a line joining these four particles this will show me the streak line but all these four particles has traveled from point o earlier isn't it but right now they are located at different points in a space but they have all passed through this point o so therefore this is a streak line so now question is in all the cases we have seen the path line streak line and stream line all of them were the same <laughs> so how they are different these were same because the flow was steady these lines will become unsteady i mean this line will become different for an unsteady flow now let us see what is unsteady flow i'll, I'll give you an example i have taken this image from an uh, wikipedia it is really good image to understand the difference in the flow patterns like path line stream line and streak line you see the gray dashed line that you are seeing gray dashed line are the streak line i mean stream lines that are instantaneous to the local velocity vector that means what the velocity if you are seeing initially the lines were horizontal and slowly they are moving vertical it means the fluid flow is taking a different variety that means the flow is unsteady with respect to time now and what lines you are seeing over here one is blue one is red red is the path line of a particle that is identified and blue is the streak line of the particles now let us see how they are different firstly so streamlines are gray dashed lines right red line is the path line of a particle you can see the path line is not changing it is fixed once the particle has passed through but if you look at the blue color line the streak line it is also deviating with respect to the change in the flow fit why because the particle that are on the blue color line that are pass through this point but along with the flow they are also changing their orientation so at at, at a given instant of time they are also changing their orientation right so blue color line is the streak line let us see how this is defined so firstly we will talk about the flow field at t equal to 0 it was totally horizontal and at t equal to some time t1 the flow field is taking the curvature now if you take any point let's say i want to know the velocity of this particular point it will be tangential to the tangential to this gray dash line okay velocity of this point is tangential to this gray dash line similarly so these are the streak lines gray dash line right now if i talk about uh, the particles now see 
at an instant of time t2, this is the photograph I have taken. So, here gradation are the streamlines, blue color is the streak line and red is the path line. Now, see what is this? Red is the path line of a particle which is currently situated at this point, but it was found at this particular point when t was equal to t0. Okay. So, now this particle that is over here at this point of time t2 has reached at this point following this red color path. So, I will show you the path. This is the path which it has followed. Therefore, red color line is called the path line for a particle A. Clear? Now, why blue color is a streak line? Let me show you one more thing. Let us say a particle black which is currently over here but it has left this particular position in earlier instant of time. But the black color particle has reached here following another path called black color line. But currently it is at this particular point. But it has also passed through this particular origin, isn't it? Similarly, there is another particle called pink color particle who is currently at T2 is lying over here. But this has also passed through this particular point and, follow, and it has reached this point following the pink color path. Similarly, if I talk about this, a green color particle is over here, but it has reached here following this green color path and initially the particle has passed through this particular point. Now you see, what is blue color line? Blue color line is the line joining green, pink, black and red. That means all the particles, all of this four particle has passed through this particular point. So a line joining the particles which has passed through a common fixed point is called the streak line, that is blue color line. But their individual path lines are different, you see. Right. So, I can say streamlines are greatest lines, streak line is blue color line and red, black, pink and green lines that you see are all the path lines. Clear? So, I hope you got the clarity on the differences in these lines. Now, let us talk about some real life examples. Let us say you have the garden hose in your hand and you, when you were a kid, you were wobbling down the uh, garden hose. Right. So, when you do this, you see that the water flows in a wavy shape. But actually, when you look at this, the waviness that you see is which line? Streamline, streak line or path line? Think about it and then answer. Pause the video and think about it. I will give you the answer. The, the line of water that you see is the, is the streak line because all the fluid particles that you are, you are looking at have passed through the common outlet, isn't it? And when you look at it very closely, you see that the particles follow this particular path. So what are those? These are the path lines of the particle. The particle are tracing this path. So all these streaming lines that you see, straight lines, they are all the path lines of different particles. Clear? You might have seen the campfire and the sparks coming out of the campfire. The sparks also represents the path line, right? When you talk, when you talk about the uh, advanced application of these lines, CFD is the tool which has taken this application. And most of uh, the you know companies or industries when they perform CFD, they always tend to plot the streamline patterns. And streamline pattern can easily show you the detachment and the attachment of the flow, right? Also, in experimental facility, the streak line is basically viewed using the uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, kind of visualization tool, smoke visualization, right? So, here is one person in the wind tunnel and this is the smoke, uh, smoke going over the car body and this is showing you the streak line basically, right? So, I hope you understood the major concept behind streamline, streak line, path line and how are they different from each other. Thank you so much. See you in the next class.